Hello and welcome to Med Bios. Today we are going to do MCQs with answers on the topic DNA. We will be discussing very basic questions based on DNA. Without wasting any more time, let us start. So the first question is, what is the full form of DNA? Option A, deoxyribonucleic acid. B, deoxyribose nucleotide acid. C, deoxyribose nucleoside acid and D. Deoxyribose nucleus acid and the correct answer is option A. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Next is number 2. What is the basic unit of DNA? Option A. Nucleotides B. Nucleosides C. Amino acids D. Sugars and the correct answer is option A. Nucleotides Nucleotides join together to form DNA. Next is number 3. What is the shape of DNA? Option A. Double helix. Option B. Triple helix. C. Quadruple helix. And D. Single helix. And the correct answer is option A. Double helix. Next is number 4. Which of the following is not a component of DNA? Option A is ribose. B. Deoxyribose C. Phosphate D. Nitrogenous bases So out of these four, option A is the correct answer because it is ribose and DNA contains deoxyribose sugar and it does not contain ribose. Ribose is present in RNA. Next is number 5. What are the four nitrogenous bases found in DNA? Option A. Adenine Guanine Thymine, cytosine, option B, adenine, guanine, uracil, thymine, option C, adenine, guanine, cytosol, thymine, and option D, adenine, guanine, uridine, cytosine. And the correct answer is option A, adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. Next is number 6. Which of the following is true regarding the structure of DNA? Option A, DNA is double-stranded and made up of sugar phosphate backbone. Option B, DNA is single-stranded and made up of sugar phosphate backbone. Option C, DNA is double-stranded and made up of a protein backbone. And option D, DNA is single-stranded and made up of protein backbone. So as we know, DNA is double-stranded and it is made up of sugar phosphate backbone so the correct answer is option A which is DNA is double stranded and made up of sugar phosphate backbone. Next is number 7. What holds the two strands of DNA together? Option A hydrogen bonds between complementary nitrogen bases. B covalent bonds between phosphate and deoxyribose groups. C ionic bonds between nitrogenous bases and D hydrophobic interactions between nitrogenous bases and the correct answer here is option A hydrogen bonds between complementary nitrogenous bases next is number 8 what is the complementary sequence to AGCT option A is TCAG option B TCGA option C GCTA and option D, T, C, G, A. And the correct answer is option D, T, C, G, A. Because A is complementary to T, G is to C, then C is to G and T is to A. So the correct answer is D. Next is number 9. What is the function of DNA polymerase? Option A, to unwind the DNA double helix. Option B, to synthesize new strands of DNA, option C to connect Okazaki fragments and option D to proofread newly synthesized DNA strands. So DNA polymerase is a very important enzyme and its function is to synthesize new DNA. So the correct answer is option B to synthesize new strands of DNA that means it is used in DNA replication. Next is number 10. 
which of the following could result in a mutation in DNA? Option A, deletion of nitrogenous base. Option B, addition of nitrogenous base. Option C, substitution of a nitrogenous base. And option D, all of the above. The correct answer here is D, all of the above. Any of these can result in changes in DNA which may lead to mutation. So the correct answer is option D. Next is number 11. What is the process by which DNA is copied? So how DNA copies are made? Option A is mitosis. Option B meiosis. Option C DNA replication. And option D transcription. And the correct answer is option C DNA replication. Number 12. What is the function of DNA? Option A to store genetic information. Option B to replicate itself. Option C to produce proteins. And option D all of the above. The correct answer here is option D all of the above because all these are functions of DNA. So D is the correct answer. Next is number 13. What is the enzyme responsible for DNA replication? I already told you this one. Option A is DNA polymerase. B is RNA polymerase. C is DNA ligase. D is RNA ligase. And the correct answer is option A, DNA polymerase. Because it is the enzyme which produces new DNA. So it is used during replication. Next is number 14. What is the process of DNA fingerprinting? Printing. What is done in the process of DNA fingerprinting? Option A, comparing DNA sequences. B, comparing DNA profiles. C, comparing DNA strands. And D, comparing DNA structures. So here the correct answer is option B, comparing DNA profiles. Here it is written structures. So it's a mistake. The correct answer is as written B. So it is comparing DNA profiles. And the last question for today is number 15. DNA in prokaryotic organisms is. So in prokaryotic organisms, that is organisms without a nucleus, how is the DNA? Option A is linear, B circular, C single stranded and D double stranded circular. And the correct answer here is option D double stranded circular. So that's all for today. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you. God bless you.